Excellent. Tunubu ignore Puari's call, moves on with the release of Nam the Kano from detention after a brief negotiation with the DSS boss. That is it. So um, you can see that um, uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu is already determined. He is determined to release Nam the Kano. You see, if you watch it very well, when Buari was in power, Bola Ahmed Tunubu was lamenting for the release of Namde Kano. But, you know, Tunubu being this kind of very stubborn individual has refused to concur. You understand? But as it is, Tunubu has proved it that he meant his words. And as someone that meant his words, he has also shown it that nothing stops him for, from, from doing as he promised. Wari was calling him so that he will move on with his decision. That idea of continuous keeping Nam the Kanu in detention. You see, the people that doesn't want Nam the Kanu to be released are, 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 are invisible people that we cannot even see. They are the one, you know, jeering Gwari up. Just and jeering him up and, you know, trying to get him blackmailed so that that he, he, so he will not see any single reason to release Nam the Kano. But they have seen Tunubu to be unstoppable. And that's why you saw that any decision he wants to make, he doesn't, he doesn't even need to consult anybody. He will just make it warm. Tunubu is very stubborn. He's a very stubborn leader. You see that? That's why he was able to ignore Bwari and went on with what he has planned to do. Let's check the content and know what he, he, he said. This is morning news. President Bola Tunubu has been urged to ignore the ignominy of his predecessor, ex-president Mohamed Ari, and release Nam the Kanun, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP. Aloy H. Mako Kanun special counsel made the call while describing Bwari's disregard for the rule of law as staggering. Ejimako noted that Kano's continuous detention without charges was a disregard for the rule of law. Tweeting, Ejimako wrote, From today to the next few days, I will do a series of tweets inspired by Onyendo Mazenam de Kano when I last visited him on Thursday. It's his wish that I do so and I shall comply enthusiastically. Here is the first tweet. Detention without any charge is the defining future of a banana republic. The Bwari regime's disregard for basic tenets of the rule of law is staggering. President Tudubu should not emulate such ignominy. When you don't have any charge against a man, you free him. The continued detention of Mazenam the Kanu without any charge is illegal and against the law. The Bwari's administration is a pure definition of of of, uh, of fraud. Yes, of fraud, and also the administration has made a caricature of the. And of, of the Nigerian rule of law. It has really abused the rule of law. It has, you know, made the rule of law to look like nothing to Nigerians. You want Nigerians to keep to the rule of law, to obey the rule of law, to obey the constitution and do as the constitution pleases. But you, you, who is supposed to be the number one citizen and number one practitioner of the constitution and the rule of law, you are disregarding it. The Supreme Court, the Supreme Court being 
a the courts that speak for the law have spoken out. They have spoken out. They have given the order that Nam the Kano should be released. She understand now. Nam the Kano should be released. But Buari being the kind of person that doesn't have respect for the rule of law disregarded it, turned it down, overlooked it, and you know initiated a a one on one hatred for Namdekano, and that is why you saw that Namdekano is still in detention. It is no longer the law that is keeping Namdekano in detention, but Bari himself. You understand? Let's check the content. Let's let's hear from my dear listeners. Let's know what you equally think. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.